for sure it's like Steve. Stupendous. Mm, vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been thinking for a while, and I think there's a great metaphor for our industry, which is around learning in ice cream. Hear me out here, right? So we have a strong belief that personalization drives engagement and great engagement in a learning platform drives performance. So we look at where our, our industry still is with SCORM courses prevalent inside LMSs and LXPs. It really feels like we're still in one size vanilla ice cream. Or in other words, if I'm saying it, a SCORM course, which is one size with mainly text-based learning. For me, the problem with that is we don't all love vanilla and we don't love all vanilla in one size. That we are all different and given choice, if we were given choice, we would choose to engage in a different multitude and modalities of learning than what we're seeing is the combination of bite-sized videos as the bedrock plus the technology and AI is the building blocks that allows for a really hyper-personalized environment for each individual. So in our platform, when that bite-sized video goes inside there or you build up a curriculum full of bite-sized videos, you have multiple different ways to choose to consume that based upon your preferences as a person, but also that moment that you're in. By default, you can watch the, what the person's doing, how to make a mojito. You can listen to the person, how, you know, how they're explaining it, to so the best expert who makes mojitos. You can potentially read the transcript, you know, or, or, and read the instructions because we automate that through AI. Or potentially a mixture of those two things. You might, for, for those in our teams that have hearing disabilities, they like to watch and to read the subtitles. But also you may want to have a social conversation, right? Maybe you're that type of personality and you want to talk to the author or talk to other people. And now this fifth one, which is the ability to just have a conversation with the AI to have that reflective conversation or just get the answer. So by default, by using bite-sized videos from experts, you're automatically creating these five modalities of learning. I guess for companies that don't adopt this type of approach for personalization, what happens? Well, realistically, they, they look at the engagement challenge of their vanilla ice cream shop and they go, well, how do we get people to engage in it? So rather than challenge the fact that one size vanilla ice cream may not be the best thing for everyone to want to choose to do, you start thinking upon extrinsic motivations like leaderboards and badges and these type of things to say party balloons outside the shop, right? Whereas actually, if you're more like an Amarino shop and you're thinking about what's the experience inside the shop, how do we change that to personalize that, make it relevant for the individual so that you don't have to use those parts, that people naturally come back to now have the next favorite flavor towards it. And better than that, because it's such a great experience, they refer their friends. And that's how great engagement comes. That's how great learning culture comes. And that's how we enjoy the performance benefits that come with that.